transformer vector group so this is one of the very important topic so what transformer vector group is showing on the transformer nameplate so the vector group indicates the phase difference between the primary and the secondary side and it is introduced due to particular connection of the transformer windings so we have three phase vector group first of all are created for three phase transformer for single phase transformer there is no vector group applicable whereas the polarity will be applicable only for single phase transformers so in three phase transformers we have three windings at the hv side and we have three winding at the lv side or we can say we have the three winding at the primary and three winding uh, three windings at the secondary side so now you have option you can connect these three winding in delta and also you can connect these three winding in star so obviously when you are connecting one winding in delta and another winding in star so obviously there will be a phase shift that will be created between the primary and the secondary voltages so we should know that what is a phase vector group of the transformer because if you want to you put the two transformer in parallel it is most important that they should have same vector group so if the vector group of the transformers are not matching it means that there will be a short circuit if you connect two transformer which have different vector groups or which has different phase shifts at the secondary sides so here you can see this is a delta and this is the star so you can see these are the windings three windings so we have connected these three windings to form a delta and the secondary side three windings are connected to form a star and we have shown a phase rotation as well here so this is the phase rotation and it means that the d y and one so we will see what's meaning by d y and one so here first of all you can see you can find out the vector group which is mentioned in the uh, on the nameplate so this is d y 11 so it means that the primary winding is in delta and secondary is in star and the phase shift is shown by a letter so you will find this way so this is d y n one so one is d one is y so it means that this is a two winding transformer so one primary winding is connected in delta and secondary winding is connected in star and there is a neutral connection available in the transformer and the phase shift between the primary and secondary winding is one so what is one so how you will know what is one so you you will know uh, the notation of one to eleven is derived from the clock method so in a clock we know that it has digits from one to twelve so one complete circle has 360 degrees so if we divide it into the 12 parts so you can see it will be equal 30 degrees will be given to each so it means that one here is denoting the 30 degrees two is will will show 60 degrees and the three will show the 90 degrees so in this way if 11 dy it's, it's shown dy dy and 1 1 here is showing there is a phase shift of 30 degrees between the primary and the secondary winding so secondary winding voltage is shifted 30 degrees so it is 30 plus or 30 minus so you will see how you will know this so 1 means you can see if it is 1 this is shown 1 it is it mean that the phase shift at the secondary will be 30 degree lagging so it's showing 30 degree lagging in fact you can consider there are two person which are running so this is the person number one so this is basically the primary winding which we are showing in the capital letter like and these windings are connected in delta so we can write it this one as a so this is capital letter a is the primary winding and there is another person 
which is second winding which is we will show by small letter a and they are in a race and they are running in a circle and they have to run anti clockwise so this is the direction of rotation of the phaser so rotation direction is also important so the difference between these two is 30 degrees so if they are running you can see the secondary winding is behind the primary winding by 30 degrees so we can call this one as 30 degree lagging so the phase shift is 30 degree lagging if this winding is not here if this winding is now this you can see this will be called as if we are connect, have connected the primary winding in delta so we will write d then secondary winding in small y and we will write one okay so you can see here from you can see one to five or six you can see here is this one is this is the lagging portion so we have divided half of the you can say circle half of the circle is divided into lagging so i will write by green so this is all lagging area it means that one is 30 degree la lagging two is 60 degree three is 90 degree four and five and this is six six means you can write as either it is 180 degree lagging or leading both will have the same meaning so then you can you can see next half is basically showing the leading leading half so it means that if we have dy 11 so it means that it is now leading by 30 degrees so if i mark this numbering here so you can see here it will be 11 10 9 8 and 7 so 11 will be somewhere here and here is our primary side which is connected in delta so you can see this is a leading area so if it is dy 11 so it's dy 11 it means that the phase shift is minus 30 degrees or uh, and uh, it's a leading connection so in the other way you can also write you can multiply 1 by 30 so you will get 30 if you multiply 1 by uh, 11 uh, 11 by 30 it will be 330 so you can write 330 degree lagging or you can write in other words 30 degree minus 30 degree leading or just leading right there, like like that so 330 is equivalent to minus 30 degrees so you can write it is either 30 330 degrees or minus 30 degrees or you can write it 30 degree leading in this way so this is the way by which the phase shifts uh, are calculated using the clock method so first of all you can connect for example again if you have three windings we have three phases you have option you can connect them make a star or you have option to connect them and form a delta so this is a delta connection so in the transformers you will find either star or delta connections there is a thumb rule that each transformer should have at least one delta so you will find either primary or secondary side will be in delta so in case of auto transformer so auto transformer is basically the transformer which has part of the winding is the primary like this one this is the, for example the primary and the remaining part is the secondary winding so in this one you cannot form star or delta so star transformers has fish uh, auto transformer has by default phase shift of zero degrees and as i told you that each transformer should have a delta so in this case you will have to bring a tertiary windings 
So as per the design point of view for the auto transformers, you need tertiary winding. So this is some basics about the vector diagram. So here you can see that this one is basically some connections for dy1, dy11 and yz1 and these are all possible connections for star star and star delta so this is star star zero so this is a zero phase shift this is delta delta zero and this is dz zero a d is, uh, is delta and z here is a zigzag winding so in this way they have provided all possible connections so i will say thank you very much at the end